Hello, today we're going to be covering everything I love about my 2007 Nissan Skyline 50 GT or an Infinity G35, as some of you may know. Now, I love this car a lot, so there's a lot to really talk about. I think, first of all, we should talk about the engine, the VQ35 HR. Right between the speed rolls. Oh, I love this. Oh, brakes. She fast. She fast. It is a great brick engine. It puts out 310 horsepower to the rear wheels. This thing makes this car move. Zero to 100 is 5.5 seconds. But it's more than that. The delivery of this engine is amazing. There's instant delivery, and I mean instant. What's more, it sounds very good. If you just get simple muffler delete on these things, they sound really nice. And the factory intake sound is also very nice. Oh! It is an award-winning engine. It is great. Cool. And there's more to the way this car drives. It's not just the speed, but it's also the handling. When you're in the driver's seat of this thing, it feels really good. The steering is nice and heavy. You've got hydraulic steering, which has good feel. And the body control from this thing is really good as well. There's some cars I drive, I'm like, this doesn't feel good. It doesn't really feel like it's connected to the car at all. It feels a lot more sporty and a lot more premium than something more front wheel drive based like a Mazda 3. And that's what you get from being based on the 350Z platform. Another thing since it's based around the 350Z, it's got some really quality parts on like alloy lower control arms instead wow. of steel that's lighter and it's stronger or something makes it feel a lot nicer apparently. Well, that's what, you know, the benefits of control arms are alloy versus steel. Wow. Other things I like include, like I say a lot, these wheels. Basically, everyone I show them to really likes them. They're 18 inches, they're eight and a half inch wide on the back, which means we can probably fit two 65 section tires on it. They're also made by NK from the factory, which is just cool. That's part of the sports pack, which this car's equipped with, which means we get many other cool things I like. We get four wheel steering, which makes the turning radius a lot smaller. And a limited slip differential, which is, it's good. <laughs> We've also got a whole bunch of cool stuff up here. Well, really only one point you might want to think about it. And that is this button brings up a camera that's mounted on that wing view mirror which is really good when you're pulling up to curbs and while we're here can someone tell me what this is when you press it it goes green I don't know what it is yeah that's one thing also the sports pack has these bigger brakes I, I mean these are rear brakes but you sort of get the idea they're bigger especially up the front there's other people here now oh they've also got a missing bit I'm cool <laughs> I basically already know as soon as I make this video, there's gonna be a whole bunch of stuff I've forgotten about. Oh, the paint. Let's look at it. The sun's glistening on it. You can see the pearlescent paint. Oh, it's popping in the sun. If you are enjoying this video, surely drop a like. I'd appreciate it. If you have one of these cards you're interested in them, surely consider subscribing because we're gonna make a bunch of content on this thing. What about some stuff in the interior? We've actually got the gauges that I like. Okay, these guys are driving around kind of close now. What the heck? Press. You turn them on. And they're actually, as you can see, digital here. That looks really cool. Oh, he's got L plates on. He's learning how to drive. Good on you, mate. That's fun for him. Let's go, lad. You're doing well. You're doing well. Another cool thing about these gauges is you know how you can move the steering wheel? Let me go ultra wide. Oh, is that it? Okay. When you move, the, adjust the steering wheel, the gauges move with the steering wheel, which is pretty cool, I do think. Damn, now I need to put it back in the position I had. Little things like this, you know? Kind of annoying. I'm not sure if we'll get the lighting right, but this thing comes up really nicely and it goes around and down. I'll add in pictures. And it looks really cool, especially when you're driving. 
you can actually see it pretty well. Those two haunches there look really good. Oh, auto lights, that's another thing. On the lights, they turn on automatically when you need to. Yo, who's this? On the, on the bike, huh? Comment down below if that's you. Oh. Oh. <laughs> you're in the video. Also, when you downshift in the transmission, when you're in sports mode, it blips the throttle, which sounds pretty cool, I do think. The thing is, of course, the looks. You get the angles right on this thing, and it looks amazing. That's the thing with the styling, it is a sleeper. You would have no idea this thing is 310 horsepower, 0 to 100 in 5 and a half seconds, which is good. You know, there's no attention from cops, basically. And it's cool to surprise someone when they have a fast, think they have a fast car, nope. and you got them in this, like, random Nissan sedan. The thing with the looks is it's just pimp as fuck, you know, and that's what I kind of like about it. It's just, it's, you know what I'm saying? It's more like a Chaser style than a Toyota MR2 or something. It's that style. Also, another thing is the boot here is pretty big, and we've got on the key, you can just hold this bottom button, and it pops the boot. Of course, there's another button here you could use, but whatever. Wow. Squeaky. And it's big, okay? It doesn't look that big on camera, but it is really wide. We haven't got much in here. We've got a countdown bag, another countdown bag, and a breaker bar. But, oh, yeah. baby, a triple! Oh, yeah! And that then takes us under the bonnet. So let's get the water catch. There it is. So there's a lot of cool little things I like under here. For an example, the gas struts. There's none of those little stick nope. things to use, it's just them. We've also got two intakes, one here and one here that goes to our twin throttle bodies behind here. Now, you know, that's just a cool little thing. We've also got small stuff like twin hood latches here instead of the one in the middle. That's better for high speed stability, and it's just frankly kinda cool. It's also the comfort from this thing really nice and refined. There's not too much road noise and when you put your foot down, when you get in the spirit of driving, it's really fun. Back to more little things, there's just stuff like the twin exhaust pipes here and if you don't know, they're actually fistable and I haven't got the smallest hands. Alright, there we go, a bit of, yep. <gasps> more things from the sports pack that I like, we've got paddle shifters back here and one cool thing about them is that they're actually straight from an R35 GTR, magnesium paddle shifters. And really there's a lot of cool things I like in this interior and one of them is just the design. It looks so nice and premium in here. The seats are actually pretty nice too. When you drive around it just feels like a nice place to be. Now that's a little thing I like, a little analog clock, it's classy. Well actually let's start from outside the interior. We've got keyless entry, so basically push this button and it locks it, you just walk away. Same thing when you approach, keys in pocket, you press this button here and it unlocks. Wow! And that continues with the push button start. More cool features is the seats that are electronically adjustable or electrically. I also like the pedals in here, they feel really nice. This one's actually mounted to the floor, not up here, which feels pretty cool. Another thing I like is the reversing camera, it's actually pretty useful. And it's got the guidelines which show you where your car's got to go when you steer. We've also got dual zone climate control so your passenger can have a different temperature to you. Okay, there's more stuff in the interior. The headline is really soft and just thoughtful stuff like in here. You know, this is all felt lined so stuff doesn't rattle around. Same as these pockets here and the glove box is all felt lined. Another big thing I like about it is the reliability. These VQ35 HRs are really reliable. And you know, I'm gonna get MPS or Mazda Speed and they're not the most reliable, so it's something good to know. And this thing's only got 128,000 kilometers on it, so reliability really isn't a concern. Also like is that it's called a skyline, even though you know it might not be a real skyline, it still is pretty cool. Especially it's a non-car people you got to and say you have a Skyline. Skyline just sounds cool, you know. A lot of people know what they are, that they're a cool car, and even though it's not a real one, non-car guys don't know. Nope. <laughs> you know, there's nice little touches like the sill plates here, says so Skyline on them. The floor mats here, mine's quite dirty, sorry I've been driving a bit. It says Skyline on it as well. Okay, I said it's everything I like. There's gotta be little stuff like that. Another thing about the looks I really like is as simple as the key. I think it is quite a nice looking key to be honest. We've got lock, unlock and the boot button. And it just looks nice, you know? That's the video. I 
think that's everything I love about this car though I'm sure there will be a lot that I forget after I release this video and well, that's just how it works isn't it if you did enjoy drop a like and consider subscribing like, we'll see you, you like, next time